Hello everybody, this is Dakima2 here with the seventh Semi-Trans tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about line management. So, as you can see, I had a highway built here. I was trying to build a loop highway around the city of Houston. Um, I really don't, I'm just, this map is just a mess around with. I was gonna do eminent domain and actually build a highway that goes from north to south and then one from east to west an inner loop and then an outer loop um, because as you can see I have one billion nine hundred and eighty six million dollars so I probably will still do that but I'm having a bit of trouble with the slopes so we're not going to focus on that today today we're going to focus on line management so to start off with what I did was I went in to display and I hit all the buildings so it makes it a little bit easier to demonstrate so you can see what I'm doing. So first off, line management provides information and controls that manage lines for a convoy or multiple convoys, which are groups of vehicles, with the same route. You can check free vehicle capacity, travel goods and passengers, proceeds, operation costs, profit, and convoys. The LMS also allows you to create a new line, update a line, or delete a line. Now let's take a look at the LMS in action. So to go to line management, click on this tree icon here. And so first off, we're going to look at all the lines here. So the lines that I have are this refinery line here, which it says red. And the reason that it says red is that it means that it's making a loss. Although the individual convoys have a profit. So what that means is that, and as you can just see here, as I waited a few minutes, it went back to black again. So it kind of cycles on and off but I think it's all tied into income here so watch your income you want to make sure that you can keep your profits uh, above this white line here um, I'm not the most profitable guy I one month here I did actually make a profit from 11 to 10 to 11 or whatever this is um, so this says drop ship drop ship simply means in logistics it's when producers move their materials from one place to another but don't keep them in stock at a warehouse anywhere so basically I talked about yards in a couple videos ago what I do is I have a system where trains will bring their freight to this yard here or to I think I have three other yards here kind of like that this one here Sugarland yard and then I have a yard over here and I just let the trains drop off their cargo and then other trains come and pick it up so they kind of save money that way by doing that I save money so let's go back here um, to Houston and check on this bus line so first let's take a look at truck lines or bus lines um, both of them are under this uh, truck banner here the truck icon so this one here, I have a bunch of trucks running between an oil field and a refinery. Free capacity gives you the amount of spare space in vehicles for goods and passengers. So basically, when you're going from place to place, how much stuff can I hold on each trip? And speaking of trips, we have trips next, which is the amount of items that are in a vehicle every month. So. Every month we had uh, 48 trips. It's either 48 goods or 48 passengers. So that, that's basically what I mean. Vehicle earnings. This tells you the amount that you've earned. Vehicle earnings is similar to income or profit. It's tied to, I don't know exactly the difference. I think one is subtraction uh, from the operation cost, which uh, by the way, operation cost is a cost incurred by vehicles during transit. So watch out for that. Make sure that you're always going to have a bit of a uh, loss in operation costs. I mean, if you can tell me how to minimize that, please, I'd like to know because I'm not sure. Um, distance tells you distance travel. This is important to make sure that you're not burning too much fuel and cash. Maximum speed, self-explanatory. Roll toll is when you have, when you enable a toll system, which I think that's under... Uh, you get that later in the game. Right now I'm in year 1936. I don't have road tolls right now. And that can be imposed uh, for player to player, which 
adding players right here you can do that and here's free play mode if you don't want to spend money or if you want to spend money but want to have an unlimited amount of money it's right there so there we go um what else uh withdraw all what you can do is you can sell every single vehicle and say you want to upgrade um you can do that and the depot um say you want to buy a new truck here or a new bus i'll do that and i want to no wait let's sell it so say you want to just buy a mail trailer first and then you want to add on like a bus or something so you click on this part here that says vehicles and you do put in front so basically if it were on a pen you can't do it because that's going to be the front vehicle so so what this means is put it behind so mail van here we got a mail trailer and then you, and then it shows the buses uh, or vehicles that you can put in front so we'll click this one for example um, but I'm gonna sell that so you have filters um, they can filter out the different kinds of goods that you can transport you can also show obsolete vehicles um, see they're they're in blue here um, what else copy convoy so say I have a bunch of these I can copy them and it copies a line as well so if you have a line um, so that's it for depots um, what else here we have a detailed list here of um, passengers and bags of mail if we go to via or amount here it tells you it breaks down the amount per station then you have destination breaks down exactly where they're going via detail tells you through what station people are going through or actually that's yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. so um and that's actually you can really see that if you're not in like a hub stop like this so like this one um so via amount um so seven via that and then it'll tell you um one stop via this stop so um we also have our chart here of passenger so it tells you happy um all kinds of statistics uh so now no route here are the people that are just passing through um convoys how many convoys stop off in a particular time waiting walk so I guess I don't really know the correlation between happiness and unhappy pa passengers and um, line reliability, um, but I know it has something to do with it. So if you have like a crowded station like this one, then it'll be affected. Um, although this one actually isn't that crowded. C, it's kind of unhappy is starting to eclipse the happy passengers. So let's close out of this. One other thing I like to do is go into the vehicle list here for, it's not really a line management, but it's just kind of vehicle management. Um, and you can sort by name, income. So like you got like, shows S ascending income. Uh, it's really descending. I don't know why it says ascending. Um, but uh, so so this, this vehicle here is uh, Kind of weighing down on my uh, budget and whereas this one here is stuck so that's probably why um it's having is it really stuck though no it's i i guess i don't know but um no it's not so so that's what we have here this is lime oh wait one more thing is uh filtering you can set up all kinds of filters for like vehicles and depots so say um, so you put a bunch of trains in a depot because they were uh, clogging up a line or something uh, you can do that and see who's in there so it might have that um, so let's click out of there enable it yeah so look at that um, so there you go you got your vehicles in the depot 
Um, Alright, so that's it everybody. This is this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial we're going to be talking about finances. Uh, this is a, another somewhat complex tutorial. And finances, you know, it kind of ties into uh, factory performance. But I think I'm going to make factory performance a secondary video because it's going to tie into power lines and power consumption, that kind of thing. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.